Gary Surrett, and we are very fortunate. The air show field is the Brantford Airport. It's relatively small, it's unique, but it's very friendly and warm. The audience here can meet the pilots personally, they can meet them, they can talk with them, they can ask them questions. It's a very intimate air show, and we try to do that for the United Way. After all, this is the Brantford United Way Air Show. Patty Wagstaff is considered right now to be one of the absolute best aerobatic pilots in the world. And she's going to be at our Brantford uh, United Way Air Show this year, and we're just delighted to have her. She's a, 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 a little gal that uh, makes a huge contribution to any air show, and we're particularly happy to have her here flying for the 2007 Brant United Way Air Show. I got my license in 1980, and I started doing aerobatics in 1983, and uh, flew my first air show and my first competition in 1984, and I just always have loved airplanes. My dad was a pilot, so I was exposed to him from a young age. I've flown air shows all over the world. Um, I've flown in Iceland and Argentina and Mexico and um, Russia. Well, this is the first time I've done the Brentford Air Show, and um, it's really, it's, it's kind of a neat show because it's not like Toronto where I'm going to be next which is a huge you know show and you really don't get any interaction with the people. I've never had any fear in an airplane. I've never found that you know aviation is anything to be afraid of since I was a little girl and uh, you know and I was taught that aviation was nothing to be afraid of since I was really young um, and so fear doesn't come into it and if you're busy if you, if you have room in your head for something like fear or whatever, then you really have no business doing this kind of thing. Rick Volker, his day job, he's a dentist, but his passion is flying. And over the years, he's become an extremely good aerobatic pilot. He bought and purchased a Sukhoi which is a Russian-made aerobatic airplane that is considered to be one of the very top aerobatic airplanes in the world. Does a great show. This air show has unbelievable volunteerism. It probably has twice as many volunteers as the very large Toronto show. And that tells you something about the community. And the community really supports this air show. Even the fans, the spectators, uh, they're rabid compared to most air shows. It, it's a fun air show for performers to do. Uh, the professionalism right down the line from from commentating to uh, porta potties I mean everything is perfect fencing you name it they know what they're doing and everybody wants to come back and people that are sponsoring learn that after about six years and they want to be back so it just keeps growing every year it's a perfect model really for a lot of other small air shows to follow Heard it several times from the snowbirds and other people too. They're saying, you know what? When I was a little guy, my dad took me to an air show, and now I'm a snowbird, or I'm now a CF-18 pilot. And of course, that's what the idea is for the military to show themselves off and show how professional they are. They do a great job. in the area uh, every single year. The air show 
kicks off the United Way campaign. The air show is complementary to the United Way because they both represent excellence. They both represent uh, skill. They both represent team play. And we know that one in three people get serviced by the United Way. And you can't help but think that that's a good thing. The B-52 is a huge American Air Force jet bomber. It's coming to our show, turning around and going back to North Dakota. It was simply a matter of calling an Air Force base, which was happened to be in Minot in North Dakota, and just asking them if they uh, would mind doing a flyover. Um, once approved by uh, the Air Force, Air Combat Command, um, you actually contact individual bases to arrange anything else. And it was that simple. The air show is very important to Brantford because it's the introduction of the annual campaign for the United Way. And at least 20% of people in Brantford are touched by the service of the United Way. We're not actually aiming to make a lot of money at the air show, although we try to do so, and we do, but the idea is just to launch the campaign for the United Way. My name is uh, Captain Mark Verdier. I'm actually from Aurelia, Ontario. So it's nice to be back in uh, Brantford, which is close to my uh, hometown. And I'm looking forward to uh, performing tomorrow for people of Brantford in the area. Well, it's a smaller town, it's a smaller community, and it's actually more uh, warm, if that makes sense. It's uh, very personable. People have a good chance to connect with us, and we get a chance to actually mingle with the, uh, with the folks, and uh, it's just a fun time for everybody.